in their numbers to support the chain link and says the initiative shows the island's unity. So both at the descriptive level and at the prescriptive level, I think this is a great moment for Barbados and for Barbadians and I want to say thanks to all of those uh, persons, all of those institutions, all of those agencies that have understood the importance of this moment and have lent so overwhelming uh, support to it. I think that um, at age 50, as a nation, this sends a very clear message that Barbados intends to continue to be a great nation and that our people are resolved to make whatever contribution they can to that greatness. It's a proud moment and I want to say thanks to all and we now move on to the next 50 years. Opposition leader Mia Motley was also along the wharf road with other members of the Barbados Labour Party. She described the 50th anniversary of independence as a time for Barbadians to recommit. In us all now flows a lot of emotions. We want to celebrate. We want to be happy as Barbadians. But we also look around and see how difficult things are. And how we manage that, I hope, will not be to retire and to get angry, but to recommit. Because after the 30th of November comes the 1st of December. And the 1st of December will allow us to ensure that the next few years gives us a solid foundation for the next 50. President of the Senate, Senator Kerryanne Eiffel, was excited to take part. In 1979, I was out of the country. I was only five years old and I was really disappointed I didn't get to do it then. So personally, I think it's a wonderful thing for me. But more importantly, it's a very, very beautiful thing for our country. Um, 50 years is not going to come again. And I think it's something that all Barbadians should seek to participate in. And remember that it's not just about us as individuals, but about what we can do for our country to lift it even higher. Her sentiments were shared by Social Care Minister Steve Blackett. This is a historic occasion, of course. I, I, don't, I don't remember um, the last thing that we had where it was, quite frankly, but uh, I wouldn't have missed this opportunity for the world and I'm so pleased and my breast is bursting with pride this morning to be actually part of, um, of this chain link. There were reports of gaps in some areas, however the turnout from schools appeared to be extremely high. Lisa Lord, CBC News. Well, the parish of St. John was abuzz with activity as residents held hands in the streets in their bid to hug the nation. Students and residents alike joined hands in the parish of St. John as hundreds formed part of the human chain link. They were joined by schools from the neighboring parish of St. George and despite this, there were several noticeable breaks in the chain. MP for St. John, Mara Thompson, says there was a good gathering of people where she stood just outside the David Thompson Polyclinic. She added that it was a momentous occasion for residents as the father of independence represented them when the country gained independence 50 years ago. We almost feel as though this is where it began since Errol Barrow was the representative. And um, yes, so it's certainly significant for St. John people to um, be here at the 50th as, as well as being here at the very beginning. However, Janice Pinder, who took part in the first chain link in 1979, says she believes there was a greater turnout back then, which she attributed to the fact that it was held on the weekend. Well, this turnout here, I would say that it was bad, but this one was excellent because it was the first, and everybody came up on time. And the little children was really excited. So I wouldn't know about the little children know, you know. But in that time, even my children, they were small, five, six, seven, and eight. And they enjoyed that day. And up to this day now, the last is five, two years old. And he could remember that day. It stood with my children. And of course, the little ones had their say.
Michael joining us live now to tell us what's in store over the next 24 hours is Deputy Chair of the Independent Secretariat and Labor Minister, Senator Dr. Esther Bayer-Sukul. Dr. Bayer-Sukul, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Certainly. Now, we are. We, we just had the chain link, as we just heard. Yes. Um, that was earlier today. But tomorrow night, we have the unveiling of the monument. Yes. Tell us what to expect. Well, tomorrow night begins 24 hours of the climax of our celebrations. We have a very packed 24 hours for Barbados uh, entitled the Golden Anniversary Spectacular. It's dubbed Inspired Exulting Free. And the first event is at 10 o'clock tomorrow night where we reveal the National Monument, this new monument that celebrates our 50th anniversary of independence. And it really is a tribute uh, to mark that spot where the flag was um, where the Union Jack was lowered and the Barbados flag was first was first hoisted. Um, but this is an exciting opportunity because it is an opportunity for Barbadians to relive the glory of 1966, November 30th. It is also an opportunity for persons like me born after independence to get that feel and that excitement because it, that is really what it's about. We're going to be unfurling a massive flag of Barbados. We won't be pulling down the Union Jack again. Of course, that time has passed. But we'll be raising a massive massive Barbados flag um, which is going to stay there but we are also the main thing is the monument this national monument which of course was designed by a 23 year old Barbadian young lady mm -hmm. from a field of 48 entrants fantastic. and uh, it, it is fantastic and it's a tribute to our youth and to our young women I think it's it's inspirational okay. this monument and we understand that we're going to have a special guest leading up to the activities of course Tell well us. tomorrow his royal highness arrives in Barbados and he will be a part of this this massive uh, golden anniversary spectacular so he will be there with us tomorrow night we want all Barbadians to come out because these three events are all free. They're all free. Uh, there are arrangements in place for parking and so on. And of course, we have taken extra care to make sure that safety is a prime consideration. There is planning for mass, mass casualty events and so on. We have, for all our events this year, we have ensured that we have that kind of planning. So it's going to be safe. It's going to be controlled. The police are going to be there. We want these events to be family events. And we want all Barbadians to come out. We want Barbadians 50 years from now to remember where they were on the night of Tuesday, November 29th, when we revealed this national monument. That's really what we want. You know, I hear people talking about November 1966, and I feel a little envious, <laughs> but I'm going to be there. Yes. I'm going to be there so I can remember where I was yes. on that night when the monument was revealed. Thank you very much. Uh, that is Senator Dr. Esther Bayer Suku, the Deputy Chair of the Independent Secretariat. She was telling us about uh, all that is to come over the next 24 hours. Thank you very much. Very much. My pleasure. Certainly.